Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium. It's our Rebuilding Rome campaign, and we're off to a pretty damn good start. It's been just under, just under 50 years, a little under half a decade, and we've conquered a whole bunch of shit from the Ottoman Turks, including some lands from Venice, like Corfu, Crete, and Naxos, and even Rhodes is gone. There's still a long way to go. We haven't even set foot in Italy yet. Uh, I'm wondering if the Iberian Wedding is even going to trigger here. If Castile gets too small, I'm not even sure the event can trigger. I mean, Aragon has already eaten a ton of Castilian clay. He's taken two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's taken nine provinces from Castile already, and he's at war again. I, if, he's probably going to take the capital and the gold province here, which is just going to leave Castile castrated. They're just, they're just going to be useless. And I don't think they're going to get the Union. Even if they do get the Union, Aragon's just going to be like, hey, we're independent. Castile's going to be like, okay. So, uh, this is the first episode of the day for me. It's only the second day we're recording this. And I was looking around the map before we got started today and just checking out where we left off, right? So, we have a bunch of lands that we're coring from the Ottomans right now. We're converting this province, Biga, to the one true faith, which is Orthodoxy. We fabricated on the province of Karaman, and we're currently fabricating on Issel. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a C with a little... It's a C with a turd hanging out the bottom. I don't know how to pronounce that. But we're fabricating on it right now. We're at 14%. It's going to take a while to get that going. Uh, we're integrating our vassal Bulgaria. He has all of his cores right now, so we're just going to eat him up. Nom nom nom. Probably just go eat Wallachia after that. Just full an X. And we were talking about getting Serbia as a vassal, turning him into a march, because they're pretty good as a vassal. And if that's the case, perhaps I should just leave him intact, right? Just leave him with all of his land and just let him have all of his shit and move on. And feed him some of Hungary and Bosnia. Which is not a bad idea at all. I'm, I'm fine with that. Serbia's got some nice military um, ideas, right? Don't they? Manpower recovery speed, that's pretty good. Reinforce, yeah, that's pretty good. So he'd make a good march and just use him as like a buffer for the rest of this area and fill him up just to next him later on. The problem is, we're at our Diplo limit right now. We're at four out of four. We have our three allies, Persia, Poland, and Hungary. And we have our vassal, Bulgaria. And we were also talking about releasing a vassal of Syria. And yeah, I do want to do all of this shit, but I don't want to be over my Diplo limit too much. I mean, right now, we, we have a six Diplo leader, Basilius Schnarf the first. Schnarf! While he's in control, it's probably fine to be over the Diplo limit, but after he's dead, it's probably not a good idea. Because I want to stay, you know, up to snuff on all the techs as much as we can. It's a Cecidilha. Use it all the time in Brazil. I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah, I know the mic is quiet. There's nothing I can do about that. I've already restarted my PC six times and it's still got the 10 decibel problem. Just deal with it. Anyway, I do want to eat a whole bunch of the Balkans today. And I do want to go into the Mamluks today. Mamluks, who uh, really don't have that many allies except for Persia. That's the one I would care about is Persia. And I don't want to lose that alliance just yet. So perhaps we'll wait until the Mamluks and Persia rival each other or some shit. Yeah, so let's unpause. I'm pulling a diplomat back right now. Oh, rivals, huh? I'm pulling a diplomat back from Persia. We were getting relations up there. And I think we're going to look at options for declaring war. It doesn't mean we're going to declare right now. But we'll see. I want to see who would join against us in this war for Serbia. I, I assume Venice would join, and I assume Bosnia would join, but there's no guarantee, right? Let's take a look. Okay, they would. By how much? Um, by a lot. Okay. The other thing I wanted to look at was Karaman. He does have an alliance with the Mamluks. Would the Mamluks join? Yes, they would. By a lot. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on this, because if the Mamluks ever say no, then fuck it, I'm going. Same thing with Cyprus. I have a claim on Cyprus for uh, another, you know, 20 years. And yeah, the Mamluks would join. Okay, so we're just going to keep an eye on that. If the Mamluks, because the Mamluks are currently at war with the Ottoman Turks, right? Then again, you know, the Turks are in two big wars right now, the Mamluks and Georgia. And they're, they're, they're not going to win both those wars. But if they can beat up the Mamluks army a little bit, then the Mamluks may not want to join any wars at that time. And you're like, okay, then I guess now's my time to go. Just go get Karaman and Cyprus just at the same time. Just do it. A whole lot of other stuff I wanted to do. I still need to get this north coast up here so we can fabricate on Theodoro. 
who is a march of of the of of uh, Crimea. That's interesting. Are you getting an X? No, not yet. Yeah, Crimea's got these two vassals over here. They're doing all right. Georgia has no allies. Wallachia has no allies. Yeah, I think we'd be all right up here. And Ragusa, I need to fabricate on you, but uh, I don't want to fight Aragon. Ragusa's allied to Aragon right now. I mean, I guess it's possible if we get big enough, we could just peacefully vassalize him. But I think for now, we're just going to ignore Ragusa. Just pretend he's not there. Pronounce the C with a turd like an S. Got it. C turd equals S. I'm learning. I'm learning, folks. Do I have a claim here on Negroponte? I sure do. Can I threaten war? No. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that, though. He may just give it to us at some point. It is Greek culture, but he has converted it to the hideous and awful Catholic faith. You motherfucker. What about Chios? How are we doing over here? Ah, we still have Revolt Risk over here. Still have Revolt Risk in Chios. We'll see if we can't get that to flip to us. They did have rebels spawn there in Genoa, uh, but the rebels were killed, unfortunately. It happens. Montenegro has a core here. Interesting. And we're not going to core this province. Okay. So we have three cores on the Ottomans that are coming in very soon here. I guess I'll keep this fort. I'll just keep it turned off for now. It's it's an okay location for a fort. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it protects five provinces. It's not bad. It's just not great. We may wind up just getting rid of forts at some point, because, I mean, they don't have that much value, but they do have a little bit of value. Oh, is the war over? No, the war's still going. Okay. Austria's still losing. What is What province is this for? Venezia. Oh. But I don't think I don't think he's gonna have a big enough navy to take out Venice's navy. There's a battle going on right now, and Austria looks like they're losing the battle. Their morale's almost gone. Nope. Maybe. Yep. Their the morale. Yeah, they lost. No, they won. They just reinforced. Wow. Good job. So Austria won a battle here in Treviso, just barely. But yeah, they're not gonna be able to make it across. Carmon will cede Isel to the Ottomans. Oh shit. Oh, but he was forced to break his alliance with the Mamluks. Okay, so I guess this is a good time to go to war. Uh, yep, he has no alliance with the Mamluks anymore. And I have a claim on Karaman. Oh, that means I can that means that canceled my fabrication on Isel. Yeah, I didn't finish the fabrication. All right, whatever. Let's go eat Karaman. 17 development. I like that. Why not? Uh, do I have a siege pip? Yeah, you have a siege pip. Is there a fort? There is no fort, so I'll just take three soldiers. I'll take one dude and the cannons. All right, have fun. Mamluks are winning their war. Georgia is losing his war now. So the Ottomans have turned the corner and they're now pushing Georgia out. Congratulations, Ottomans. Our cores are almost done. Finish the cores. Were we still kissy-kissy with Austria? I guess we can keep trying. I mean, he has rivaled Poland. That doesn't mean we can't keep trying. And I guess I should get relations back up with Poland as well. How's Hungary doing? 70. We could use more relations with Hungary for sure. For sure. Bo Shizzle. Oh. Another idea time? Um, oh, Deus Volt. Yes. Oh my god, Deus Volt. So good. You don't even need claims with Deus Volt. I mean, it's good to have them, so it's cheap recording, but you don't even need claims with Deus Volt. You just go to war with anyone who's not your religion. It's so good. Yep, Holy War. Nice. They are cursed infidels. And cleansing of heresy. Yep. Very cool. Hey, we got the walls busted. That was quick. Um, what? I didn't realize he still had an army. I thought for sure the Ottomans would have killed his army. Uh, okay, this sucks. He just showed up. Just unexpected army with uh, a five shock general. He took a negative two to attack us, though, so we'll see if we can get there to reinforce in time. I don't think so. Yeah, we gotta get out of there. 
Man, that sucks. We had the walls busted and everything. We have to retreat. Hey, we accept Turkish culture. Oh, this is really good. Accepting Turkish is so good. Oh, nice. What other cultures do we have? Albanian. We're probably just gonna probably just gonna get rid of Albanian culture. When can I retreat? Fourth? Two more days? Am I gonna last two days? Yeah, probably. Good. Alright, lost half our cannons. That's okay. Oh wow, we're retreating pretty far. Alright. That sucked. I didn't expect him to have an army there. Ragusa has declared on Serbia. Now that's what I like to see. Uh, I have to check and see if they're honoring. Oh, Venice just dishonored the alliance. That's nice. So Ragusa is now fighting Bosnia and Serbia. They're going to lose for sure. Uh, but this is good. So Serbia just lost his alliance with Venice. Perfect. Yeah, that army came out of nowhere. All right, speed back up. And it's tech up time. Excellent. Tech eight. Which is two techs ahead of car, man. Nice. Let's see. Morale of army. Sounds good to me. How far are you retreating? It's going to the capital. All right. It's cool. It's fine. Yeah, the Ottomans have about 16k, it looks like. That's their total army. They're doing all right. How's Rebel progress? Pretty slow. 60%? Yeah, it's alright. Rolling zeros, huh? There's a 7. Two techs ahead should be a big deal here, and I think we got them. What is this? The Palatinate? Austria? Oh, wow. Uh, Iraq just lost the war to the Mamluks. So the Mamluks took over most of Iraq. Rabah... Sinjar, Ashila. So Iraq now has, what, two provinces left? Just two provinces. Wow. They're dead. What is this other war? What is going on up here? It is the Bavarian Conquest of Overfaults. So Bavaria has declared war for this province here in the Palatinate. Okay. What's their map mode look like? Oh, God. Why did you declare that war, Bavaria? Oh, my goodness. Wow. So he's at war with Austria now. Good luck. Good luck. I need a haircut? No, I don't. You don't get haircuts in this game. This isn't Crusader Kings 2. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing. Just leave the cannons there with some soldier backup. Hopefully we get the walls busted quickly and just move on. We don't need to be in this war too long, right? Okay, relations with Poland are back to max. And Austria, good. Wow, look at no guy grow. Damn. I wonder if he can put some... Uh... I wonder if he can mount some resistance against Muscovy, who's just going crazy up there. Muscovy's gone friendly? Oh. Muscovy's gone friendly, everybody. And he wants an alliance. Ooh. Oh, I would, I would like that, except that he hates Poland and Austria. But still, I think Muscovy's going to be a, a great potential ally. When we're ready to turn on Poland, Muscovy's going to be there to help for sure. Yeah, look at the Ottomans. They're really doing work down here. The war score is still in the Mamluk's favor, though. Uh, but once... Yeah, you know, we have a diplomat now. Let's see if the uh, Mamluks would even join. They would. But it's not for very long. Okay, do I have my transports here? I do. Uh, I need more than six transports. Is that all I have? That is all I have. Uh, we are a tech ahead. Maybe I can take him out with just six troops. No, you know what I'll do is I'll send over six, then I'll send six more. That's fine. But I do need to build some more transports. Also, we had a disease outbreak, unfortunately. Let's put another soldier over there. We did get the walls busted, though. Yeah, once we have Cyprus, we can fabricate down here on Rashid, Damyat, Gaza, 
this shit is going to be nice to take, especially if we can get Cairo. It's going to be a huge benefit to us. Whoa, don't give me attrition. Stupid Vassal is giving me attrition. Poland is down here giving me attrition. Damn it, Poland. What is this? Provincial unrest? Yeah. Disloyal estates? They'll be fine. Um, lose 20 loyalty, get 100 admin points. Sure. I like admin points. Noble families feud. Fight some rebels, gain autonomy, or lose diplo points. And it's Albania. I'm okay with autonomy there. Just doesn't matter. It's at 84 autonomy. It might as well be 100. Doesn't matter. If it was zero autonomy, I might reconsider. Alright, there goes Carmon. Give me all your cash. Nice province. Do I have war exhaustion? Not really. Okay, excellent. That was a quick war. Now let's see if we can get Cyprus while the uh, Mamluks are very, very battered. They're not battered and broken, but they're battered. Ottomans are sieging down a Mamlukian fort. Yeah, once that fort falls, Mamluks will probably... There we go. Oh, they just... Did they just white piece? Fuck, they just white pieced. Damn it. Yeah, now they didn't. Yeah, okay. So I guess Serbia is a better option. Okay. All right, so we'll do Serbia instead. That's too bad. I just wanted to go eat Cyprus real quick, but oh well. Uh, Georgia is still at war, and Georgia's winning the war now somehow. He's turned it around a bit. I guess it's because the Ottomans have been focusing on this siege down here. It's too bad. It's too bad they didn't finish that siege. If they had finished that siege of Halab, I bet that would have been enough to cause the Mamluks to uh, not join that war. Oh, look, Mamluks have rebels as well. All right, why don't we get the fuck up here? Mamluks have rivaled us. That's fine. I don't care. Wait, who are my rivals? Genoa, Venice, and the Ottomans. Interesting. Oh, look at this. All of Venice's allies would not join against me if I went for Negroponte. So I could probably get Negroponte right now. Uh, we should probably do that. Make him break all of his alliances. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does it have a fort? It does. He built a damn fort there because it doesn't cost him any maintenance. Look at that. Fully, fully funded. Look at that. Cost zero for bullshit reasons. Hate that. So we'll do that first. And I'm going to do it right now just to make sure that he doesn't just suddenly get some new alliances and shit. Uh, cleansing of heresy. What's the difference here? 75% aggressive expansion. 200% prestige. Yeah, it's just straight up better. It's the same amount of aggressive expansion, same cost, but you get double the prestige. Okay. All of his alliances dishonored. Nice. Castile will see Toledo. Oh my god, look at this. Toledo, Grenada, Gibraltar, Cantabria, Burgos, Caceres, and La Mancha to Aragon. Holy shit. Can you believe that peace deal? Can you believe... Oh, wow. Aragon's just monstrous. Aragon is disgustingly monstrous. Alright, so I need six ships, or six dudes. Uh, I'll send those two... And those guys with the general. Shit. Shit. What are you guys just gonna keep? Oh, there we go. We got it. 
thought they were going to try to cock block me, but they didn't. I, I can just walk to Venice. Look at this shit. That's pretty amazing. Mendez12, thanks for resubscribing. Put some love in chat for Mendez12. Hey, Sweden finally went independent. Or they're trying to. England and Scotland, is that enough? No. They're fighting Poland. No, that's not enough. No. You have chosen poorly. Yeah, it might have made more sense to go for conquest there, so we get ticking war score for Negroponte. That's a good point. I hadn't even considered that. I'll have to get access through Austria as well. Well, the Fort of Trevizo is open, or available, I should say. We'll go get that siege in. Does Venice even have an army? Yeah, they got 20k. Interesting. We got the walls breached already. Damn, that was lucky. That was so lucky. How are we doing with Aragon anyway? Uh, they like us a little bit. Let's work on that. Who do you hate? He hates Castile, Hungary, and Venice. Well, we ha we both hate Venice, but I'm allied to Hungary, so eh, may not work out. Yeah, let me cancel my military access. Oh, I can't. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Well, it sort of does. All right, come on back. I'll cancel the military access so that we don't take attrition over here. Mongols have embargoed us. That's fun. Uh, revolt risk is at 80%. Mm, that's kind of a problem, actually. Because I was planning on releasing Syria, but I can't do that if I'm at war. But uh, you know what? Maybe Venice will just peace out when Negroponte falls, and then I can just release right away. That'd be nice. 42% with the walls busted. We'll probably get it very soon. Muscovy declared war on Perm? Wait, why does Perm exist? Oh, they must have been released by someone. Yeah, they were released by Kazan. Okay. Because they were Muscovy's vassal at the start of the game. There's no reason for them to declare war on Perm. Come on, finish the siege. There we go. Yeah, he'll just give it to me. Uh, can I make you give me money? Oh, I can humiliate. Oh, that's tempting. Um, how close are we to getting humiliate? Not even close. I would like to do that, though. I mean, that is a lot of PP. Whew, tempting. You know what? I'll stick with it for just a little bit longer. And let's see if we get this fort to fall real quickly here. Put my siege general in there. 
If we get this fort to fall super quickly, we can get Humiliate and then move on. If we don't, like if this goes to 90%, then I'm just going to peace out for Negroponte alone. Still 80%. Austria's fighting Burgundy? Okay. France joined. I'll take a look at that as soon as this war is over. Timer? That's okay. We're going to finish this war before we end the episode. 14%? Come on, finish it. Nope, 35% though. Pretty good. Ooh, clergy gains influence? Uh, that's probably okay. Or lose money. No, that's fine. I'm okay with... There we go. Trebizo. And that's not enough. Okay. All right. Well, if we can't do Humiliate, let's get War Reps instead. Because he's going to be, you know, making some decent bank. And I'll take all your money, too. Which is not much. I guess I can revoke cores? I don't care about your alliances. Uh, revoke your core on my land. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll get some prestige out of that. Why not? Okay, we got Negroponte, baby. And I don't want that fort at all. Turn off my other forts. All right, now I have to check on this 80%, and it looks like it's okay. I could ferry some troops down there, perhaps. That might help out. Uh, anyway, though, we do, need to, we do need to end the episode here. So thank you guys for watching. I have been Shen, you have been you, Negroponte. Although it's Catholic. Still Greek culture. It's now in our hands. Under the protectorate of Byzantium. Protection of Byzantium. It's now called Euboea instead of Negroponte. Cool. So Venice owns nothing down here anymore. That's fantastic. Feels good, man. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.